I have a nail polish haul. So the first polishes that I have were sent to me for review from a company called Madame Glam. So um, they basically told me to pick out six polishes and that they would send me the six of my choice and then the six that they picked from their collection as well. They have a lot of, um, there's a few glitters, but there's no like chunky, you know, like indie style glitters. There are some fine glitters, there's some creams, there's a lot of frosty finished um, polishes as well. So I picked out my six and I actually received these in the mail yesterday. So I opened up my mailbox and there were three packages in my mailbox and I had no idea what was going on. So these were all shipped. They were shipped in three different bubble mailers. Each bubble mailer had a box in it with four polishes. So this box fell apart. To start out, I was actually very, very shocked that none of the polishes were broken because there were four polishes. I'll just try to like put them back in here. Four polishes packed into a box like this and then this box was stuck into the bubble mailer and they were shipped here and you can hear that's just straight glass on glass and especially the one that was broken open the polishes were all loose in the bubble mailer so I am shocked that nothing was broken um, because it's not like you know it's no secret that ship the shipping process is very rough and this just glass on glass. Um, other than the actual bubble mailer that it was in, there was no bubble wrap, no tissue paper, no anything. Um, there was just bottle against bottle. So that uh, immediately it was very, very disappointing to me because that's really, really like sketchy and scary and like I said, shocked and amazed that there were three bubble mailers full of glass on glass bottles and that none of them were broken. So I will start with the ones that I did not pick myself. Um, they were, like I said, they were going to send me six and then choose six for me. I have swatched all of these on swatch sticks. I have not swatched them on my nails yet, but I have a, you know, a decent idea. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is the bottle. Um, all of the caps were um, not like super loose, but it, it just took a little tiny twist to get them loose when I got it. And the, the glass is very thin, which again is I'm really surprised that nothing was broken. You can kind of hear it, what do I have? Here's a polish, this is an indie polish, it's hard to tell, I can't hear the bead in this one. But if you take like an indie polish, like those typical round bottles, those are like thinner or thicker glass bottles, and it just sounds different than, it's hard to do, than this one does. You can hear when the bead hits the glass that it's very thin. The polish itself was very thin on a lot of these. So I'm going to go through them individually and I'll talk about the formula. This one is Like a Princess and this is a really pretty baby pink with kind of a pearlescent finish to it. It is a frosty nail polish. You guys know how I feel about frosts. Not the best for me. So um, I mean I, I'll probably end up uh, giving this away just because I'm not big on frosty polishes. This was um, Two coats and it would be opaque. It wasn't super sheer at all. It was just frosty. That's my only complaint about it. But the formula itself was actually really good. Uh, these do have a thinner brush on them, which normally would not uh, shock me too much. But lately, um, everything is going to a thicker brush. So it was just like a surprise to come up with something so thin. But it doesn't, I don't have like huge nails. So it's not a big deal for me. Um, the next one that was sent to me is Golden Muse. And this is a frosty gold. Again, not big on frost. It's kind of, um, I don't know, it's like a neutral gold. I don't know how to explain it. It's like in between a tan and a gold. But uh, this was very, very sheer. This would probably take three coats on the nail. I'm not 100% because like I said, I only did it on a swatch stick and those are clear, so it's hard to tell. But this one was thin. The polish itself was thin, uh, as well as being sheer. So um, I'm not the biggest fan of this one either, actually. I'm trying to go through the ones that I didn't like first so that I can say positive things at the end. The next one is Hey Pretty. And this is actually pretty. This is a frosty purple. I wasn't too crazy about this when I saw it. But it has like a darker purple kind of sheen to it. Uh, this was also uh, thinner. This would probably take three coats to be opaque. Um, it might even take more than that. I'm really not. I haven't used them on my nails yet. Uh, but I will, when I do the swatches for the video, if it's, if it's more than two coats, to be opaque, I'll put a little annotation. But this is actually really pretty. I was surprised at how pretty this was um, with that like darker kind of magenta-y purple flash to it. Very pretty. This next one is Purple Silk and this is a dark purple um, metallic kind of 
it's not frosty, it's just metallic, it's shimmery. And this is very, very pretty. Two coats and it was opaque. Um, the formula was thicker than the other ones, so it applied a lot better. Uh, the other ones were, I had, the last few were kind of watery, actually, but this one applied really, really well. Nice formula. So, yeah, I liked this one a lot. This next one was Mango Passion, and this is an orange cream. It's like the perfect, you know, what you think of like orange crayon, orange cream. So I was really excited about this. Uh, this applied really well in two coats as well. It wasn't watery like the other ones, so I am really happy with this one as well. I really like creams. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of frosty polishes, so I'm a little biased with the other ones, but the formula, you know, wasn't fantastic. But I do really, really like this one. The next one is Buy Me Flowers, and it's a medium-toned purple cream. Uh, this was also totally opaque in two coats. You might even be able to get away with one coat with this. This was a really, really good polish. So, very much like this one. It's kind of, it's like a little bit darker than a Barney Purple, but I really like this color. And I'm not the biggest fan of purple nails either, so it says something when I like it this much. So again, that is Buy Me Flowers. So on to the ones that I chose. Um, I picked this one out. This is Peach and Almonds, and I didn't, I thought this was a cream but it actually has this really pretty purple iridescent flash to it. So this was sheer and watery. This would probably take three coats. Um, I know you can't see it right here, but you can see the air bubble and the polish, and it is very, very thin. This is like, you know, like straight up water. Very thin polish. And it definitely shows that on the nail. Probably take three coats to get this one opaque, maybe even more. Like I said, I'll annotate it. But... It's still a really pretty color. It's a really gorgeous, like, neutrally, you know, skin tone peach color, but with that gorgeous, like, blue-violet kind of iridescent flash to it. So I thought this was a cream. I was actually very pleasantly surprised to see that flash in there, but like I said, it is very thin. Next one, I had picked a blue, and I forget what it was called, but they told me that it was almost sold out, so they had to send me a different one. But I'm pretty sure that these were really close to each other. This is a more Azul. This is a nice consistency cream blue. Two coats and it's completely opaque. This, uh, yeah, a really nice, pretty, like, light baby blue kind of color. Like I said, it's not the one that I had picked out, um, but I think that just looking at this and looking at the two online, I think they're probably very, very close. So you, the other one is sold out by now, then you always have this as an option if you're interested. The next one is a more of a, like, a sky blue, and it's called Skyfall. And this... Uh, very impressed. This is probably a one coat blue cream. The formula is perfect. Um, it's not sheer at all. Very opaque. Like I said, probably one coat. So really, really like this. The next one is green watermelon and it is a very, very light um, kind of pastel mint green color. And this was thin and sheer. Probably two or three coats to get this completely opaque. Uh, but it is really pretty. <laughs> um, it's a really nice color. It just, like I said, was a thinner formula and it was also pretty sheer. The next one is More Wine Please and it is a deep kind of wine berry red. I picked this out because I always wear these colors on my toes and I tend to go through them uh, fairly fast. So it's always good to have just one of these uh, generic kind of wine berry red colors. But this was really good. Two coats and it would be opaque. Might even be able to get away with one because it's dark. I just did two on my swatch wheel because it's transparent. But I think a dark color like this, you could probably just get away with one coat. So this one was also very good. Um, it was not thin or watery like some of the other ones were. And the last one that I have is Man Eater. And this is a very fine multicolored glitter. It looks like um, a kind of pink toned. It doesn't look like there's a lot of silver in here, but there is some blue and red and a lot of um, 3D kind of hollow glitter mixed in there as well. This was um, sparse enough to wear on its own in one coat, but I think you could also build this up and layer it in two to three coats fairly easily. So this was actually really good, and it didn't dry incredibly gritty like you would expect either. So this is a good glitter. Um, if I didn't say this, this is called Man Eater. So I hate to start this out with a kind of um, hit or miss, you know, negative style review, but these really were very hit or miss for me. And on top of that, um, the biggest thing for me was the shipping. Like I said, I am absolutely shocked that they were not broken because they were just glass on glass all the way here. So yeah, I don't know quite how I feel about this company. They do have some really good polishes, but they, from what I've tried, they also do have some, um, really kind of really bad formulas. So, um, 
it's kind of by your own discretion. I will link the website down below if you want to check them out. But I think you can probably find pretty comparable colors in other brands, so just I'm not sure how I feel about them. The next ones that I have are from Poppy, and they sent me three polishes for review. This one is Lily, and this is a bubblegum pink cream, and it's actually really close to my sweatshirt. But this was perfect, opaque in two coats, just a gorgeous um, bubblegum pink color. And I kind of just got this because my one of my cat's names is Lily, but this is a really, really gorgeous color, and it's a really good formula. So if you are looking to get anything from Poppy, I highly suggest this one. This next one is Bijou, and I don't know how I feel about this. This um, I thought was going to be a really nice royal blue cream, and when I got it, it is almost identical in color and formula to the mini-sized uh, wet polish in Facetious that I got in my Ipsy Glam bag. Uh, I have actually was told uh, by Lacquered Lori on Instagram that she has a full size of Facetious, and it is an um, opaque cream. So it seems like the mini in the Glam bag was just a weird, um, you know, not the same as the full size. But this is funny because I was swatching them at the same time because I pretty much got it at the same time. And this is almost, almost identical to Facetious, to the mini in formula and everything. It is a jelly. It was very sheer. Um, probably two coats, maybe three. It did turn out, you know, it did end up being a really gorgeous color, but it just wasn't a cream. And that's kind of what I thought it was going to be. So it also dried to like a satiny matte kind of finish, so you would need a top coat for it. Um, so I don't think this is the best um, polish that you can get in this color, but it was still it's still a pretty color. The next one is Emerald City, and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, um, like metallic green with almost, it, almost, I'm not, it's not very apparent, but there's almost like a little bit of a gold flash to it. Uh, Maybe that's just me, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me a lot of those green, shiny beetles. They fly, I don't know, but you see them in the summer, and they're all over the place, and they're just like this gorgeous, you know, metallic green bug. And this is like almost the exact same color as them. It's just a little bit darker, and I love this. This is absolutely gorgeous. I was so excited to see this on the website, and then ended up being like ten times more beautiful in person, so I really, really like this polish. I will link Poppy down below so you guys can also check them out. I have here six mini polishes from Super Nails. Um, Casey from Super Nails is a fellow Michigander, and I had worked with her in the fall, and she contacted me recently and asked if I would be willing to swatch and tell you guys about some of her summer polishes. So she sent me these ones. Um, some of these she said are actually black light uh, UV, like they show, you know. They glow in under a black light, but I haven't swatched them on Instagram yet because I am trying to find my black light because my husband and I are both insistent that we have one somewhere, but we don't know where it could possibly be. So I might even have to like get a small one because I do want to see these in the black light. The first one is Lovely Lemon, and this is a neon yellow mix of different sized hexes. There are large, you know, all the way to little tiny ones, and really, really awesome. I have a feeling this would also this would glow under a black light. I'm not sure which ones do or if they all do or what's going on with that, uh, but I'll find out <laughs> and I'll post pictures on my Instagram account so you guys can see. The next one is Paparazzi and this is neon pink, green, and blue hexes with a um, <clears throat> almost fairy dust like silver uh, holographic shimmer running throughout it. It's really, really gorgeous. And these, I will say, the first polishes that I have from Super Nails, um, a few of them sunk quite badly, but these have held up so much better. So it's a brand that's definitely, definitely improving in quality. So again, this one is Paparazzi. The next one that I have is Sunkissed, and this is orange and yellow, hexes and stars. And there is an orange and iridescent, very fine glitter that runs throughout this entire thing. So it looks very orange in the bottle, but it is clear based, so you can put it over like any color that you would want. Very sparkly and very shiny and very, very extremely gorgeous. The next one that I have is Lucky Star. And the next one I have is Lucky Star. And this has yellow stars and then pink, blue, and um, like the magenta e fuchsia e uh, circles in there, and then that same fine, almost fairy dust-like silver shimmer that runs throughout it. 
it's absolutely gorgeous. And those, oh, there's blue stars in there too. The stars are like itty bitty stars. They're like smaller than what you would normally see in star glitter. They're really cool. So very, very much like this one as well. This one is Dance in the Dark. And this has some silver, little tiny silver hexes, and then silver circles, and pink, purple, and lime green diamonds in it. Oh, and there's black stars too. And this is, it's a really gorgeous polish. I think this would look really cool uh, in, under a black light, and especially over maybe a lighter color so that, or ooh, I think this would look really cool over another, like a base color that reflects under a black light because the black stars would black out the base color, but then the glitters and the base color would glow under a black light. I just think that would look really, really cool. And the next one, which I should have told you about when I mentioned um, Lovely Lemon, is Lively Lime. And it is pretty much the same thing. It is a lime green glitter mix. I see hearts and little squares and hexes, and then a very, very fine lime green glitter. Um, dusting, I guess, mixed in there as well. So those are from Super Nails. I will link Super Nails down below and I will have swatches of those polishes up on my Instagram. Um, if not, if they're not already there after this video, I need to get my hands on a black light. The next polishes that I have are from Drip Drop Nail Paint and Drip Drop Nail Paint has um, a prototype grab bag. But basically it's the prototypes that she, it's the polishes that she comes up with while trying to come up with the permanent polish. So, you know, just kind of experimenting and mixing things together, and she numbers them as prototypes and sells them in the grab bag. So you buy the grab bag, you don't know what you're going to get, and there isn't another polish that looks like this. So I've been kind of like fighting off the urge to get a grab bag from her for a really long time, and I finally picked one up, and I am so excited, and I want more. Um, the polishes that I got are number, prototype number, let me start from the beginning, 643, which is a beautiful baby pink cream and this applied really really well. It was a little bit sheer but um, nothing that you wouldn't expect out of a cream polish. Number 644 is this dusty like almost blue green um, perfect beautiful fall color. Uh, I guess it's kind of a slate blue with a little bit of green mixed in. That's how I would describe it but it's a gorgeous color and this was um, really good. Opaque in two coats as well. And the prototype number 645 is a purple Crelly base with very fine silver, purple, and blue. Um, and then there's like a lilac in there as well. Metallic glitters mixed in. And this was very, very glitter dense. You weren't getting like a ton of base without getting any glitter because all the glitter is really fine so it doesn't sink down. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. So, and I really, I was excited because it's like I have no idea what I'm going to end up in this, you know, with this bag. They can have, you know, Crelly mixes, creams glitters, you know, and clear bases. It can be just about anything. So I am definitely getting hooked on these grab bags and I really want to pick up another one or two from her. Highly suggest those. I will link Drip Drop Nail Paint down below if you guys are interested in grab bags. I have two nail polishes from Ella G. You guys know how I am with different glitter shapes. If a new glitter shape comes out, I need it. So both of these came with little baggies of penguin and seashell shaped glitters. Now I mixed those into the bottles because I cannot keep track of those loose glitters and just I'm bad at it. So the first one is Rainbow Reef and this has um, these really cute pastel little itty bitty stars and hexes. There's like a light yellow, um, like a marigold yellow. There's a couple different shades of blue, some like lavender, some pink, white, really pretty. There's also holographic silver dolphins in this. And then it came with um, holographic silver penguin and seashell shapes in a separate baggie that I mixed into the polish. So really gorgeous and really cute. And the other one that I got is called Fancy Mr. Waddlebutt. And this is a black and white glitter mix with uh, red bows, like little bow ties, like penguin in bow ties. It's the freaking cutest thing I've ever heard. And then it also came with the seashells and penguin glitters that I mixed into the polish. So, yes, really excited about those. There were a couple different um, penguin and seashell glitters. So I'll link those down below. LG also has the dolphin-shaped glitters. Um, LG and U Polish, I think those are exclusive to them. So U Polish might have had some penguin glitters also, but I'm not 100%. So I'll link LG down below. 
And lastly, I have some Jessica Jean frostings. Uh, a few weeks ago, Jessica Jean had her mystery frosting trio that you could pre-order. It was three previously unreleased frostings, and you didn't really get to see what they looked like until you got them, but I always get her new frosting, so it wasn't a huge deal for me, and you got a little bit of a discount by pre-ordering them. These are all now available permanently on her site, so you can buy them individually. The first one is Lemon Lime Frosting, and this is the white curly base. Oh, there's a little pink guy in there. That's not supposed to be there, but that's cute. Um, it's a white curly base with lime green, yellow, and some dark green glitters mixed in. Uh, this base is very yellow tinted now, and I think it's probably just from the glitter that happens with a couple of them, but it's not a big deal for me because um, it, it's Lemon Lime. But no, that is Lemon Lime Frosting. Neapolitan Frosting is the white curly base with some pale yellow, pink, and brown glitters mixed in, and then there's, I think, black, uh, really, really fine glitters, so like Neapolitan ice cream, like strawberry, you know, vanilla, and chocolate. And the next one is Rainbow Sherbet Frosting, and this is a white curly base with orange, lime green, um, a darker pink, and then hot pink glitters mixed in, like uh, Rainbow Sherbet, so there's those. And the last one was really, really special to me. Uh, little backstory, I had worn a Jessica Jean frosting polish to my parents' house um, quite a few weeks back. My mom had never seen anything like that. She didn't know what a curly was, she'd never heard of a curly before, and um, was kind of like freaking out about what a curly was, that you didn't have to have a white polish and a glitter, that you could just do it all in one step. So I um, kind of weaseled her favorite uh, colors, you know, what she would want to see in her own out of her, and contacted Jessica Jean and asked her if she would possibly make a custom frosting for my mom. And she mixed it up, and I'm telling you, I haven't given my mom her bottle yet because I just got them in the mail yesterday. I'm going over to my parents' house tomorrow. But I showed my mom pictures of it, and she said it's even like better than she'd imagined. She's so excited to have her own frosting. So Jessica did release this in a very, very, very small amount. Um, she asked me if it was okay if she mixed up a batch and sold a little bit of it. So she mixed up a larger batch, she sold out uh, fairly quickly, and then she sent a bottle for me and a bottle for my mom. So this is Roberta's Frosting, which is my wonderful mother's name, and this is, by my mom's design, a white curly base with teal, um, pink, purple, yellow, and silver hex glitters in there. There's nothing incredibly chunky and there is a ton of glitter mixed in. So this is just a, you know, gorgeous, it like springtime flowers -y is kind of what I got out of this, but it's really gorgeous and it was, you know, designed in the head of the woman that carried me in her womb and so it's very special to me and I'm very excited to get my mom her bottle of it so she can actually wear it. So that is it, massive nail polish haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will link all of the indie sellers down below so you guys can check them out and yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.